Hi everyone, it's Don and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, it's going into the weekend on Friday. I thought, you know what? Let's have a feel-good story today. And, and this is definitely a feel-good story. So picture yourself, you're on vacation and a person in a table across from you suddenly stops moving and there's like a commotion and the person's lips start to turn blue and it appears that they're choking. Would you know what to do? I've had first aid experience. I've been a first aid responder for many companies, the safety person in charge. I've gone through all the training and I know what to do, but I'm not a professional, if you know what I mean. Like I don't practice it. I'm not a, a first responder on a daily basis. I'm not an ambulance worker. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nurse. And so I think I would know what to do, but would I? And this happened on a cruise ship recently where a passenger was having dinner and they started to choke. Uh, the wife was sitting there, her lips were turning blue, and there were these six ladies on vacation. And they're traveling together, uh, celebrating a, a birthday of one of the ladies and I think it was the 50th birthday as well. Happy birthday to that lady. Uh, but um, one of them noticed, said basically, uh, is this really happening? And she pointed, told her friends to look over there and they saw the woman starting to become in distress. Then they saw one of the restaurant staff try and perform a Heimlich on the person, but he wasn't using enough force, they said. They, they saw that he, he was trying, but he was also trying not to hurt the, the lady. And if you've ever actually had to give CPR to somebody, chances are you're gonna break their ribs. I've been told that many, many times. If you're doing it properly, you could break a couple ribs because you need to push hard. And the same kind of thing with the hind leg. You need to use a lot of pressure. Um, but again, you don't want to hurt somebody and that's your thought. You, you think you're doing it correctly. You're doing the motions, but you're not doing it strong enough. Well, the six ladies jumped into action. They ended up putting the lady on the side and she said, I was not gentle. She hit that lady in the back like, like that. And eventually they got out a piece of meat and she started to breathe. And they checked her, looked at her and talked to her and all six ladies were positioning her and like a coordinated team. Imagine you're, you're sitting there and you're, you're choking, you're, you're, you're feeling faint, you're struggling to breathe. Somebody was trying to lift you out of the chair and give you the Heimlich maneuver and it's not working, you're still choking and suddenly six ladies from another table rush over, start putting you on the ground, start smashing you in the back and the next thing you know, you can breathe. And when you finally realize everything that's going on, she looked uh, there and the doctor was called and, sh and ended up rushing there as well. But by then the ladies had already done what they had done and they made sure she was okay, the lady was okay. And basically she's kind of, what happened, what happened? And they, the doctor said, these, these six ladies just saved your life. And uh, it's kind of amazing but luckily these were the right ladies at the right time. All six of these, sorry, six of these ladies work, uh, what's the name of the hospital one? Park Nicolette Methodist Hospital in St. Louis Park, Minnesota. And all six of them work in the emergency room. And they just happened to all be vacationing together when they saw this lady in distress. Talk about the right people being in the right place at the right time. And they did not hesitate. They just jumped into action. So ladies, I salute you, great job. I hope the cruise line sets you up with another cruise for uh, another celebration at any time you guys wanna get out there and sail again. I know the, the husband and wife are definitely 
um, <laughs> thankful that you were there and that you know knew what to do as well. Like I said, a lot of people know what to do, but because you don't do things like that on a regular basis and are not trained on it on a regular basis, you might not be doing it correctly. I, I would hope I would do it correctly, but I cannot guarantee I would, even with all the training I've had in the past. But uh, congratulations to these ladies. Um, I think their names, here we go. Jenny, Sandy, Jane, Cindy, Joannis, jo Joni, and Ann. And it was Ann's birthday. So once again, Ann, happy birthday and congratulations near your birthday. You saved another life. And I'm sure you do it on a regular basis as nurses in the emergency ward as well. So there you go. That's my feel good story today. Great news from these ladies. Congratulations. Really love to hear stories like this. Well, I hope you appreciate this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world, hit that subscribe button. And hey, maybe leave a comment for these ladies down below just saying we appreciate you. Great job. Thanks for being there. And maybe they might see this video as well and just get a chance to see some of the nice comments down below.